Last week, the Centers for Disease Control endorsed a new vaccine to prevent HPV. It's called the HPV-9 vaccine. What makes it more effective, doctor, than the one we already have? Um, it, it covers more serotypes of the oncogenic strains of the, the virus. Can you say what Exactly. Yeah. I'm about to break it down. Okay. Uh, it, the, the virus causes cancer. Some uh, so different types of the virus or different serotypes cause different types of cancer. So it just opens it up so that it covers more of the cancer-causing strains. So if you already had the first vaccine, like my daughter did, mm -hmm. a vaccination, you should go and get the next one as well? Um, well, it's not an, an official recommendation that you do that because the studies haven't been done. Uh, but it could not hurt you to get that done because it's covering more of the oncogenic strain. Okay, so I have a question. I have two daughters and someone said to me, why wouldn't you give this vaccine to your daughters? And then recently there's come out that uh, there's a lot of side effects from the first vaccin mm -hmm. vaccination that are really, you know, it's detrimental to women's health. Would mm -hmm. you give your daughters this vaccination, the yeah. old one or the new one? Would yeah. you recommend it no matter what? Yeah. Yes, I would. And the reason why is because when you, you know, Dr. Google is, is one of the, the harshest doctors yes. out there. Mm -hmm. So we have to always remember that one case of one thing is not a public health issue. You know right. what I mean? So um, would I give it? Absolutely. Because people get cervical cancer. And also, this is a big deal. Boys now get this vaccine. A while back, boys didn't get it. But boys get it now. Why? Because boys get throat cancer. It's a huge deal. Throat cancer. So let's go through it. It can cause genital warts or it can cause cancer. Okay? And that's cervical cancer or throat cancer. So how can you prevent it? Mm -hmm. You have to wear condoms. That's it. Right. I mean, you, you, you so have, or, 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 abs or, or abstinence. It's not through skin touch, because some things condoms don't prevent, and you right. have contact with skin, right. no and, matter whether you have a condom or not. And, and, and I will tell you, if you have these uh, lesions of, of uh, human papillomavirus around the genital area, and you come in contact with it in the area that is not protected by a condom or a dental dam or whatever you use, then that could cause a problem. But it's more likely caused by the, the, uh, the, the semen or the vaginal secretions. But what and that's age what, do we give this vaccine? You know, people want to say, how young can you give this thing? Well, you give it, you know, around 11 years of age, and people, are, doctors are, no, I don't want to give it, I don't want to have that sex talk with an 11-year-old. But what I say to my patients is, I don't explain anything to my 11-year-old. Yes. Yeah. You right. get this You're vaccine if I say you get right. this vaccine. Right. Yeah. Now, if you don't want to give it, you don't have to give it. But I'm not going to explain, well, you're going to be having sex later on in life, so I want to give this vaccine. It's preventative is what you're it, saying. Exactly. It doesn't require the dialogue for sex talk, right. then. And, and, and by you, way, you should be, be having, having that sex, right. you be sex talk. Right. Having sex talk unfortunately, from what I've read, there are a lot of children that have been abused as little sure. kids, and it's really to protect them, too, know. and people don't know. So exactly. it's, it's really for wow. those kids as well. It's important. I want to move on to the water supply in Flint, Michigan, which to me is a crime. Ooh. I cannot believe what's this happened to bad. the people of Flint. They, they switched bad. the water supply from, I think the water's coming from Detroit, mm -hmm. to the Flint River and that caused the pipes to corrode that bring in the water, sure. and the iron got into the systems of so many... I think there are 9,000 kids at this yes. point affected, and we don't even know what the long-term effects for this are right. going to be. Right. So what are the symptoms and what are the possible outcomes here? Okay, so the long-term effects, I'm just going to be very blunt, yeah. decreased IQ. Irreversible, decreased cognitive development, meaning that you will not be as smart as someone who did not get lead poisoning. But let, let's be clear. Lead poisoning, let, think about the name plumber. Why is a plumber called a plumber? Plumum is the Latin name for lead. So all pipes we're lead. Right. And that's also in all old cities, we test for lead poisoning. All cities do it at one year and two years of age because this blood is testing blood testing. Yeah, mm -hmm. and this is very real. So this is not something that's going that, that that is new. But the issue is that you can get lead poisoning and the initial effects are, you know, your stomach hurts, you get constipation, nausea, vomiting, all that kind of stuff. But the long term effects are irreversible. So that's why this is such a crime. But the, the, what's new here is the concentration of lead in the water. Sure. I mean, sure. there's probably a little bit of lead in a lot of water systems, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. this was criminal. I, exactly, yeah. and that's why we do surveillance, uh, because, you know, you, you can get lead from all different types of things. I mean, if you have a kid that's a toddler that's chewing on lead paint, you know, uh, on the windowsill, you can get lead poisoning like that. There's so many things, but we do the surveillance because of the irreversible cognitive deficits, and those people in that town, they need to do something, and, I, and if you need me, I'm coming. I'll march. I'll march. Is, is, it automatic, is it automatic that a doctor will give every child a lead test when they come in for their examination? That's criminal if they don't as well. American Academy of Pediatrics recommends it. You should be doing that because if a, if your father or mother works uh, in, with um, uh, in pottery. Mm -hmm. And they have clothing that has lead in it. If your father's a plumber or if your father works in the automobile industry and he's working with oil, all that stuff has lead in it. So we have to do this because of, of the issues that, that come about. 
Thank you, Dr. Hebert, so much. Thank Very you important guys. stuff we covered.